We were just talking about how to utilize the memory of the Bernina 790, but this time we're gonna do it with alphabets or how to put letters in a memory and how to save them and how to retrieve them. So there's so many things that you can do with decorative stitches, combinations, and you'll find that a lot of that is something I love to use and I highlight it a lot in the Bernina Stitching Cosmos online course. So if you're interested in learning more about your machine, please check out the links below this YouTube video. You can even watch 10 videos for free, see what it's all about. But it is a fun way to explore all these fabulous corners that most people don't even know they have in this machine. So first off, to find your memory, you will find the little plus here. Now I have found students accidentally touch that and then they're like, well, where are my stitches? Or how do I get out of memory? So this little plus is both your door in and your door out. So if you ever get out of it, you'll notice that you will be back to the last stitch you were on. And if you're in it, you have no stitches and kind of this little lineup of where the stitches you choose will start to appear. So since we are doing alphabets, let's take a look at some of our options. So you will see that the first four alphabets would be what I would consider more American letters. Uh, this one is more of a monogram solution as well. And if we touch the little A to go back, you can find that some of these, even though they look like letters, are of other languages. Now, I did mention I have been known to play with some decorative stitches. So there's times where I'll go in here and utilize some of these stitches. Yes, and people have no idea what menu I was actually working with because they don't look normal at all, especially when you can find some of those fun shapes that aren't so, that, that don't look so much like letters. Now I am gonna delete this, so touch the little I, find the trash can to clear out anything that you don't want on your screen. Okay, so let's go back to our letter choices, and let me just show you, you will have uppercase, and you have lowercase. And you can scroll through all of these and find everything that you are looking for. That's a nine pages of scrolling. You can also touch right here. This will open up, it takes a second, there you go. It opens up a whole screen of letters, almost like a keyboard where you can have all uppercase, all lowercase, numbers and punctuation, just depending on which of these are selected. For the most highest looking, and I say high, like tallest letters, if you stick to capital letters, I think you'll like the result the most. Let's see here. So as you type in the word Bernina, I-N-A, you'll see everything will appear at the top of the screen. Really easy to read and even a quick way like if you need to delete out an extra letter that you did not want. Or let's take a look. Um, I'm going to type out with uppercase and lowercase and this particular word does not have any letters, <laughs> just notice, that dip below uh, the baseline, but I am gonna turn this, instead of Bernie, I'm gonna type in Berg, and notice that your G will come below. So everything starts to get a little closer together. So it just depends on how your letter combination is. So if you were gonna say, spell out I love you, that Y of the U is going to slide down and make everything a little bit smaller yet. If you want the tallest letters, stick with your capital letters. I think you'll really like the results. So let's just go ahead and put that in one more time. And if we just kind of minimize this, you will see this is exactly how it's gonna sew out on screen. So as you put your presser foot on, you'll see that it will start and spell out those letters. If you wanna keep it, so let's say we wanna save our word or words that we're putting in. By the way, if you are looking for the space, it is after the zero and it looks like an underscore there. So that's the space to separate one word from another. For saving, we are gonna look over here to the heart and we wanna put it into a folder. So you're looking for the folder with the arrow pointing into it. It will ask you if you wanna save it. I've got a couple other combinations that we were playing with when we were doing our memory. They're there as well. And we can just add that to our collection. So now you're ready to put in another letter, so this, or word. Let's say we 
take the I and you do need to delete out everything that you are that is in there. So I'm just touching the trash can until I'm completely clear. So I did mention and I spelled out or said I love you. So what if we were to, we're going to do the I and let's do that space. I know I'm not opening this up all the way, but I'm going to actually combine it with a heart instead of just a the word, which you can do. So you can combine letters and symbols here or decoratives such as I, heart, and then we can do the, and I'm doing capital letters because that would make the most sense. You could add the punctuation and exclamation point if you want. Let's save that one more time. Let's put it in to touch the heart, add it to a folder. We're putting it into a folder and then do the green check mark just to see it. So we're going to go ahead and I am going to come out of our save area and back to our eye for information. And I'm going to delete all this out. So I am done and I'm going to close my memory down. So where did we actually save those combinations? So if I'm going to pull up the first memory we did that said Bernina, we need to first open up our memory and that's, I cleared it out so it'd be blank when you opened it. That way you can see me retrieve what I'm retrieving. Touch the heart. We're going to retrieve from the folder with the three squares on top of it. And that is where you'll find the combinations. Touch the one you want to stitch out and it's all ready to sew. Same thing if you want to delete a combination, you do have a way to delete those once you don't need those stored in your memory anymore. So I hope you'll try out some combinations. Know that you can make yourself some quilt labels, give some identification, even stitch on paper or cardstock. The kids love that, by the way. And definitely check out, if you want to learn more about using your memory, the Bernina Stitching Cosmos online class. We welcome you and all you to hundreds of other students that are in that course right now and start to truly enjoy this machine to all new levels.